I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog, Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to make basic mashed potatoes. Now this simple side dish is such a classic and such a favorite, and as you'll see, really, really easy to do. So I have all of our ingredients laid out here. We're starting with one and a half pounds of baking potatoes, such as russet or Yukon gold, and they have been washed, peeled, and quartered. I have them right here. We're gonna use three to five tablespoons of milk. Um, I've used five just because I like my mashed potatoes to be nice and creamy. Uh, we also have two tablespoons of unsalted butter. We have a half of a teaspoon of salt and then just a little pinch of uh, pepper that we're gonna use over here to taste. So I've got water in this medium saucepan over here and it's already started to, to heat. I'm going to add my potatoes right now and then I'm gonna bring them to a boil. We're gonna let this boil covered for about 20 to 25 minutes until our potatoes are nice and tender and ready to mash. Also going to add our salt in now. We're going to salt the water. Pop this on and now we're going to let it boil for 20 to 25 minutes and we'll, we'll check it. You can always do the fork test. Insert a fork to see if it's tender. If it is, you know you're ready to go. It's been 20 minutes and our potatoes are nice and soft. So I've drained them and put them into this bowl because I'm gonna mix everything together. So I'm using a potato masher today, but you could also use um, a hand mixer. I would caution against ever putting it in a blender or a food processor or even using your hand mixer um, on too high. Potatoes are so high in starch that they can actually become like gluey really, really quickly. You can over process a potato. So just keep that in mind. So when you're working with a small amount like this, I find that a, a potato masher works just fine. So we're just gonna start and just Kind of break it up a little bit, kind of mash, mash, mash. This doesn't have to be perfect yet. We're just starting, starting the mashing process. And now we're going to add in the butter. So let's pop our butter in here. And you'll definitely want to make sure that you're doing this, you know, right after the potatoes have been drained because, you know, obviously the heat and steam from the potatoes are what is going to melt our butter here. And now it's time to add in a little bit more salt and pepper. This is to taste. You'll remember that we boiled our potatoes um, using the salted water. And so now this is just a taste. I happen to like my mashed potatoes with quite a bit of salt, um, but that's different for everyone. So you just do however much you like. Just remember that you could always add more, but you can't take any out. So maybe don't be too heavy handed if you're not sure um, what your preference is yet. And just mix, mix, mix. So it's starting to get nice and light and fluffy, so we can add in the milk. Now a note about milk, you want to make sure that you use um, not cold milk. If you can use at least room temperature or warms milk, that's better. Um, if you use cold milk, it will react with the starch and also give you kind of that gluey, difficult texture. I've learned that the hard way um, a long time ago. So definitely want to use some, some warm milk or room temperature if you can. It's just a little trick to make it a bit easier for you. So we're just going to add it in in sections, so I'm just gonna do kind of half right now, just drizzle and mash it up, and then the remaining little bit. And once you have this recipe down, you'll be able to customize it to your, you know, heart's content. You could add in pesto, you could do roasted garlic, um, you could even add salsa into mashed potatoes. There are so many things, um, but once you have this recipe down, you are good to go. There you go, creamy delicious, the perfect quintessential side dish. That's how you make basic mashed potatoes. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at requests at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.